The women's 81 kilo A session, an Olympic category full of some of the strongest women, the strongest women in the world. On the right hand side of your screen from Moldova, it's Elena Eregina. She's put in 245 kilos for her entry total. Yudelina Peguero from the Dominican Republic. Maya Leila from Canada. Laura Amaro from Brazil. We've seen her lifting very, very well in the training hall recently. Next up, it's Tamara Salazar, an athlete who took the uh, bronze medal last year at the World Championships. Then from Australia, Eileen Sukhmatana, the junior world record holder in the clean and jerk and total. Olympic champion from the 87s from China, Wang Zhuyu, and her teammate, Liang Xiaomei, an athlete who could well win this session. She took the gold medal last year. From the USA, multiple time uh, world medalist, 13 medals in fact, it's Matty Rogers. And then we have another Olympic champion, this time from Ecuador, it's Nacy de Homes. Nacy de Homes, the Olympic champion from the 76s, has snatched 118 kilos uh, at least six times internationally. Tomas Salazar has withdrawn, so we won't go there. Arlene Sukumitana has snatched 115 several times. She holds junior world records. Wang Zhiyu is the Olympic champion. She snatched 126. Bit of a swing there for Leilor. Yeah. Uh, final lifter then. Uh, Liang Zhao Mei, 120 is her best snatch. She's the reigning world champion. Do you know if it's Mayer or Maya? I don't know. The, the announcer is saying Maya, so we'll, we'll go with that. Um, at the Commonwealth Games, she actually won in the 76 kilo category in, in Birmingham. That was back in July of 2022. She snatched 100 kilos there, which she's improved on at her last few competitions. She went from 100 to 102, and then most recently 107 at the Pan Am Champs this year. Pin and jerking 131. Not an athlete who's going to be looking for a Olympic ranking spot, but certainly personal best. I mean, reaching that 240 kilo total mark would be a, uh, a major win for Maya. She's going to burn the clock down a little bit. She is the lifter at 102. So a quick reminder um, for those of you who've only just tuned in, this is an Olympic category, so athletes here are not just trying to get into the top 10, but trying to get as high in the top 10 as they can. There are two athletes from China. Right now, Lang Zhaomei is the better of the two. So Wang Zhuyu isn't in the rankings. Only one athlete per country can be sent. So there's a battle between the two Chinese lifters. Uh, and there would have been a battle between the two Ecuadorian lifters. But uh, Tamara Salazar has withdrawn. So it's going to be Nacy de Homes who will be looking to... Um, move ahead of Tamara because Tamara is the number one ranked Ecuadorian as it stands. This is Nacy's turn to try and beat that. A much better snatch there. Wow. Still left it a tiny bit forward but was able to get under it well. Yeah. Yeah, very strong lockout. So Aragina now becomes a lifter at 103. We'll see how much movement there is. In some of these classes we've seen quite a bit of movement. Uh, basically groups of lifters all taking that one kilo bump. Everyone wants to stay as close to each other as possible. Maybe not so much here at these initial athletes just opening the session up. Yeah. Aragina from Moldova. She took bronze at the European Championships in Yerevan this year. Yeah. Smooth opening lift. Very smooth. You know, she it, she almost looks slow at, at, and she explodes at the top and pulls under, but she is moving smoothly and in such nice positions that maybe it looks slower than it is. Yeah. I think she's the first female Moldovan we've seen in the A sessions here. Yes, she is, yeah. The total to beat from the B session 
is from uh, Veronika Zielinska from Poland. 107, 130. 237 in the total. Most, most of these athletes, perhaps all of them, will indeed beat that total today. Certainly they're all capable of it. One oh four now. Belor will be the lifter. Nope. He's moved as well. Yeah. Yeah, this is kind of typical, like I was saying before, what we've seen in these classes. Very good lefter here from the Dominican Republic. Silver at the Pan American Championships in twenty twenty two with a one thirteen snatch. That's the most we've seen from her. But even as recently as June in Cuba, she snatched 112 kilos. So this 105 shouldn't prove to be too much of an issue for her. Oh. Big swing yeah. off the hips. You could see that. She really kicked it out, and it came back after she received it overhead. Pushed forward again. 105 is going to stay on the bar. It's going to remain Piguero here unless she moves. You can actually hear Aileen from Australia in the back room from here. She has that characteristic whistle that she does, very loud whistle before every single lift. You hear it in the training hall. I heard it just again. Yeah. Um, a piercing noise, but it signifies, it signals to everybody else that she's about to lift a weight. And she has no fear, you know, being uh, yeah. the person that people are watching in the training hall or the back room. You can hear her again just now yelling. Yeah, easily one of the f most physically strong athletes yeah. here. Very animated. Uh, huge pull, catches things in the power. You know, hips above the line of the top of the knees very regularly uh, in training. Basically every lift and in competition uh, has a bit of an issue sometimes with her consistency once she's driven down into the, the deeper parts of a snatch or a clean. But she is so powerful, she regularly gets away with it. So, Piguero here repeating the 105. It was a strong pull. She just kicked it forward. So, as it swung around her, it basically rebounded off the top. And then dropped it in front. Yep. Yeah, it's better. much better lift. I mean, it's a similar... Well, of course, it's a similar looking lift. I mean, it's the same athlete. But yeah. just, you know, the way she makes contact, it is quite a sudden horizontal injection of of movement and it does loop but yeah that time it it looped as much as it needed to for it to come back around to her my lower here 105 that second attempt looked very strong from her 107 is the best, so this is heavy. Yeah, he called it. Yeah. It was just, just too much there. Didn't want to go under that. Yeah, but I mean, she pulled off the floor with seemingly enough pace. Sometimes you can tell, you know, when an athlete does that and they don't go under, you know it's about to happen almost the moment it comes off the floor. Yeah. Um, just incorrect positions, the rhythm, the tempo's off, the speed. But, you know, right until she was above, you know, kind of around that mid-thigh area, it looked on. So Matty Rogers won a seven. I, I was told by somebody close to the team that she wouldn't be opening until 110 kilos. Wow, that'd be really big for her. Yeah, which which you know it seems like, you know, probably the right decision. Yeah, they're we moving now. Let's see what that is. 110. 110. Yeah, yeah. she. Uh, that's a very big open for her. I don't know if we actually seen her open no. that heavy internationally. Well, you know, she is in that position where, as we, we ran through this beforehand, but she's 
uh, before the session started, she, she basically really desperately wants to get to a 255 kilo total yeah. at this meet. That's just going to significantly help with her Olympic chances. And so a 110, 145 would be the rough sort of balance that she'd be looking at getting there. And anything over 110 just sweetens a deal. Oh, oh, very nice save. Little hop forward. Yeah. Big kind of looping pull, but she was able to stabilize that. So right now, Matty Rogers has 108 kilos loaded in the back room. She made 106, looked very solid. Aileen from Australia has 100 kilos on the bar. Nacy de Homes is at 80. And uh, Wang Zhuyu, 40. Liang Zhangmei, 60. Here comes Laura Amaro. She's been looking very good in the training hall. Regularly over 100 in the snatch, regularly over 130 in the clean and jerk. Technically a really sound athlete here. Wow. Oh, yeah, she cut the end yeah. of that pull a little bit, but wow, fiery. Yeah, yeah, she did cut it, but it, you know, it looked, um, it looked like maybe a nervous cut. Yeah, you know, she's on the competition platform. She doesn't want to miss getting under, but her her positions up until that point were quite nice. Her depth is brilliant. Yeah, very strong opening lift, though. So Ergina has the 108 automatic increase, but she is going to bump, which will move to Maddie Rogers here, 109. If they're going to stick to that 110, yep, I think we saw another change right there. She's moved up. So 109 is the lifter, or is the, the weight. Yeah, Matty Rogers has made 108 kilos in the back room. It looked good. Aileen has made 105 kilos. Wang Zhu Yu, 65. Liang Zhao Mei, 85. It'll be interesting to see how Wang Zhu does. We've seen her snatch 120 kilos in the training hall, uh, which is the most we've seen from, well, in fact, Wang and Liang both have hit 120 in the training hall. So we'll see what they're able to do here. Side attempt now for Aragina. It'll be a personal best if she makes it. Yeah. yeah, just a little bit more of the last one. Swung it over behind. Plenty of height on the bar. Yeah, Not didn't. a very fast athlete, and like you said, she's loopy. Yeah. Well, 110 now is going to go on the bar. This going to bring out, potentially, Sikamakana. Yeah. Well, you can hear her whistling in the back, so I don't know if she's yeah. going to be coming out now. That's, oh, no, whistling in the, <laughs> in the tunnel in as the she tunnel. comes out. With uh, Coach Koffer stood on the side, an ever-present figure in her athletic development. Yeah, her whistling, yelling, stomping her feet. A very exciting athlete to watch. Yep. And see, she, that's the yeah, uh, that's what happens. That. That's what she does. You know, she has such an incredibly strong pull on her, but it it's hit or miss as to whether she ends up getting up with it. So Rogers now one ten will be the weight. This will be a great opener for her. She'll Huge be taking opener. this because she has no more changes left. So there she is. So her last four competitions, we've seen 111, 109, 110, and 110. She has 13 World Championships medals to her name. You know, getting another one today seems a little bit unlikely. This category is, you know, one that she doesn't tend to compete in. She likes to be at 76. So the, the top athletes are a little bit stronger. But... Personal bests, certainly on the cards. She told me that 
she's physically the strongest she's ever been at this meet. Wow. Smooth opening lift. Yeah. It's that sort of classic catch with the rock back that she often yeah. does on that opening attempt, but she gets it overhead. It's a sound opener. Wow, with an opening lift that strong, we could see her push up into new territory, possibly breaking some of her American records. So I was told 110, 113, 115. Yeah, that would make sense. 13 would be a, a international record. We know that she's likely made much more in training, or a few kilos more at least. Is Aileen. Second attempt, the 110 was caught so high. Yeah, she just hopped back from it a little bit early. Much That's better. The better one. Yeah, still a touch forward, yeah. though. Yeah, I'm still hopping back. So, in the back room, Nesida Homes, Olympic champion at 76, has snatched 100 kilos with 105 loaded. Uh, we've seen uh, Amaro having made that opening attempt at uh, 108. It's dropped back down to 90 kilos just to stay warm. And here's Peguero. She missed 105 open and made it on her second attempt. She does this where she looks over the edge of the platform every single lift. Yeah. Some sort of habit of hers. Oh, wow. Ooh. Huge Look swing. At that. But she stabilized it, made that lift. Yep, elbows stayed strong and locked out the whole time. You know, that's right up there with some of her best. 112 and 111 is the most she's made, but 110 is a very good day for her. That's an above average finish for her in the snatch. And this session is warming up just as we'd hoped. You know, yep. there's so many exciting athletes in this session. The home is left to open, along with the two Chinese athletes, Wang Zhuyu and Liang Xiaomei. What a battle we'll see between those two Chinese athletes as they look to secure or further improve on their Olympic positioning. Laura Amaro, second attempt now at 112. This will be a, a personal best for her. Prior to this competition, 110 was her best. She did that at the World Championships last year. She placed eighth in the total. She'll probably beat that position today, I'd have thought. Wow. Oh, so, so just a daring jump under that bar. Yeah. It almost looked like it wasn't going to go, and then she went for it the last second, but it was forward. A surprising miss. I mean, similar in some ways to that opening lift where she cut it short. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, like you said, just last minute, she daringly jumped under, jumped right through it. Oh, so Rogers is calling for 12 here. 12. Maybe being a little more conservative. Yeah. Well, it's a personal record. Yeah. She's made 111 twice. She did it first yeah. at the Pan American Championships in 2020. Then she did it again at the Pan Am Champs in 2022. So two attempts now for a personal best. Yeah, she really has a little bit of work cut off her in a clean and jerk to get to that 255, but every kilo she can gain in the snatch would make that a little bit easier. Yeah. This is a big lift. Wow, wow. So she's in smooth. The, yeah, she's in the form of her life. Yeah. You know, she's arguably the USA's most dominant. I mean, in terms of, I suppose, Easily. Olympics, yeah. she's, she's not been to as many as, say, a, a Kendrick Farris type. But in terms of medals at a world level, she might be basically the most dominant US weightlifter of the last several decades. Yeah, I mean, she's, she's collected a, a plethora of medals at the world Pan Am level. Holds many American records as well yeah, across different weight classes. She's won medals at the. She won three world medals in 2017, one in 2018, three in 2019, three in 2021, three in 2022. 13 world medals. Yeah, the most decorated American lifter currently. Yeah. Oh. 
just leaving that ball in front. She's getting behind it a little bit. Yeah. Proves to be too much. So I imagine she'll go for 14, which puts her in such a nice position. You know, to move up ahead of anyone in the rankings, uh, it would be uh, Peguero from Dominican Republic. She would need another five kilos on her 248 at 253. Wow, wait, we're at 215 and Matty, 115, so Matty's actually going to make a bigger jump to her third yeah. attempt than she did her second. Probably a smart move. She she whittled away at that snatch. That extra two kilos will make that clean and jerk easier. She did try a 144 at Pan Am's and uh, was about as <laughs> about as close as you can possibly get and not be given the lift. But, uh, yeah, it's a smart play. Liang Mei has defeated Wang Zhiyu at their last two competitions. The Asian Championships, 120-155. A 275 total, which has given her the number one ranking across all athletes in this category. Let's see how she fares with this 115. Wow. Quite comfortably, I would say. So strong. Yeah, she doesn't have the lockout that some of her Chinese teammates have, but she makes that known to the judges as she walks out. Interestingly, I, I would say that the two, in terms of uh, the true A team within China, their two worst technicians are the two in this session. Lang yeah. Zhemei and Wang Zhiyu. I mean, both still, they move great, of course, but not quite as sharply as uh, well, you know, teammates. Someone on the team has to be the worst technician. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Uh, Nacy de Homes has just made 115 in the back room. In fact, no, she didn't. We, we just saw a footage of it. Looks like she... she just pulled. She pulled it. Looks like she wanted to go under and didn't have it in her to go under. Ah, she so. then looked at her hand, so she's just failed to make this in the back room in a rather morally difficult uh, emotional way wow i mean how just absolutely <laughs> demolished that lift we we just we well you just know watch her <laughs> fail to get under that in the back room and then I, she does that completely different scenarios there yeah. the lift we saw from the back was was, you know, a million miles away, and that was comfortable. Well, I'd say she made it look better than Liang Xiaomei, even. Oh, that was the strongest at that weight, yeah. Sikamatana now calling for 15. Yeah, she, she's going to really need to make this to stay up in the runnings. She does have a big clean jerk, though, so if she falls behind a couple of these other athletes, she might be able to make up for it later on in the competition. She holds a junior. Oh, oh, so close. She just leaves it forward on the, the turn over there. Yeah, the junior world record uh, in the in a different category she owns. And then she owns a junior world record clean and jerk in total in this category. Looks like Matty's coming out. 115. This is a huge lift. Yeah, this is a big moment for her. You know, she needs to start climbing the rankings within the top 10 if she wants to be one of the top three women in the USA. She's going to need to push towards fifth. And uh, her making she's running this, out of competitions to do it in. Yeah, her making this 15 would set her up so well in the clean and jerk to potentially even you know, maybe touch on 260 as a total. Mm -hmm. This is huge. Really important lift for her. Looking amazing so far. You know, I believe she's made this or more in training. Is it here today? Oh! oh she fought had for the it, pull. but just a tiny bit behind. What a huge attempt. Yeah. She's still in a great position. 112 kilos on her second gives her a really solid springboard for the clean and jerk. 
you know, she might question is, at can some she point just start opening at 115 and taking three <laughs> attempts there. Well, she's, she's probably going to be out of the medals in the snatch here yes. as soon as uh, Wang Zhuyu opens, but definitely but phenomenal okay. snatching for her so far. I mean, that 145 clean jet that she hit in the training hall. Yeah, I mean, we saw that. We saw Very strong. I think that's, you know, right up there is the best. Yeah. Very close to she it. She has least. potential here to do everything she needs to do to get as high as possible, as high as possible on that ranking list. Yeah. Well, before that happens, though. Yep, the Olympic champion, Wang Zhuyu, in a very, very cool robe, walks out towards the platform. Yeah, I think that's... Have we seen that robe before? On a other couple of times. Or just her? Well, I've seen it on her. I don't know if I've seen it with anyone else, but I've certainly seen her in it. How, how does one get... The well, Max, Chinese robe of royalty here. I think at the very least, we need to become Olympic champions, and even then, I think it's yeah not for everyone. Yeah, she has looked every bit just worthy of that robe in the training hall. Well, she Incredibly had a, strong. She had a streak of six gold medals <laughs> internationally. That's just unreal. She does. She's hit or miss though in the snatch. She does have a tendency to uh, wobble overhead. Ooh, good adjustment, yeah, though. Yeah, really good. Yeah, not the best of pulls. You could see she had a ton of speed, a lot of strength, but when she landed, she doesn't quite have that fantastic overhead position we've right. seen from some of her teammates. Was a little bit forward on her toes as well and had to make an adjustment and settle in the bottom there. I mean, we've seen her in the training hall here. She's missed 115, 118, and 120. She's also made yeah. 115, 118, 120, taking multiple attempts. I think she has a lot of strength in the clean jerk. I saw her make two singles at 150 kilos, which is wow. you know, that's big weight, very big weight here. So a change there for Wang Zhu Yu to 122, I think that I said. And she's, I mean, she has the benefit of having snatched so much. I mean, 126, she's made twice internationally. She was heavier when she did it. She was an 87, but. Having lifted those weights before, that, that helps yeah. a lot. The helmet is taking a three kilo jump. Absolutely just obliterated her first at 115. Can she bring that same energy here to 118? Well, she just moves so fast, She's so powerful. Four seconds. Schwartz the pull there. Yeah. You know, she's made 118 kilos so many times. In fact, she made it three, four. She's made it as her best snatch five times internationally. Yeah, it's a weight that you, you'd expect her to be just extremely comfortable in. Yeah. I mean, one of her main goals here is, you know, it's of course to medal at this World Championships, but it's also to move ahead of Tamara Salazar, her yeah. teammate, who currently sits in number four in the world with 265 kilos. Interesting enough, Salazar did withdrew from this competition. She's yeah. here, she weighed in, walked on stage and withdrew, so maybe she uh, doesn't think that uh, yeah, maybe the homeless not. is a threat. It's very possible. I mean, Tamara Salazar just has a, a slightly stronger clean and jerk, you know, where she can get into the high 140s. Yeah. Nacy de Homas is sort of a, a low to mid 140s clean and jerker. Liang Xiaomei now at 120 kilos. Five kilo jump from her opening attempt. The world standard, by the way, is 127 kilos. Nobody has yet surpassed that. Yeah, that's, that's enormous. Points to the elbows, lets the judges know. Doesn't have the cleanest looking walkout. So wow. strong, just brute force yeah. really at this point. You see how wide she catches with her feet. I mean, yeah. she is, I don't even know if I can put my feet that wide, let alone then try and bend my knees. Yeah, I mean, that's just incredible. 
You know, we see that. We've talked about this this whole competition, but the Chinese athletes, in a lot of cases, uh, their technique is overshadowed by their just absolute ridiculous levels of strength. I think she's a great example of that. So here's Nacy. She's gone up. This will equal her personal best. She probably feels like she's in a position where she kind of needs to make this if she wants to be in with a shot at beating her teammates' performance from earlier this year. Yeah. Yeah, in this situation, she just has to go for it. First one was very comfortable at 115. Last one she cut. She's got to finish the pull here. Oh, oh wow. so close. That is just got to be the most infuriating thing we've seen. She looked like she had done a perfect job. Yeah. Executed that pull so well. Rushed to recover and just almost a lapse of concentration or... That's the second time we've seen fluke, an athlete yeah. catch the weight when they've missed it. I mean, that, that goes to show how physically strong these, these athletes really are. I mean... Who was considering going from the hip for a second. Yeah. Lift. They don't want to let go. They don't want to give no, up. Never let go. So Wang Zhuyu, 122. They are really pushing it now. Three attempts remain. Two for this woman, one for her teammate. Wang Zhuyu, as we've said before, she's wobbly overhead, but she has such strength. Oh. oh, that was about the yep. best looking and most secure snatch I've seen from her. Yeah, that she's isn't not the first hit that sort of sure. weight in a while. You can see though, she really has to fight with that bar yeah. in the bottom of the, the squat there. It's it's wanting to drift. She doesn't have that mobility to get her head and chest yeah. forward more to counterbalance. So she hasn't just, hit that since before the Olympics. Yeah, that's a big lift for her. You know, I, I just mentioned how there's no world records in this category because no one's beaten the world standards. We found out a couple of days ago that when the new categories were made and Roby points were invented, the suggestion was if after two years nobody has surpassed the world standard, it ought to be given to the person who came the closest. Mm. And the IWF has just failed to observe that rule. And so... Was that ratified as a rule? But I don't know if it was. Uh, it was a suggestion from those who came up yeah. with the whole idea of uh, working out what the standards should be. They just said if no one gets it, give it to the closest. And yeah. they never did. So it would really belong to Wang Zhu Yu. Final left for Xiaomei. Oh, can she? Oh, wow. Made yes, a really can. nice adjustment at the yeah. bottom. Sank down just that little bit more. What a huge lift. Got one red. Yeah, we're really being spoiled with um, the snatching in this session by these two Chinese lifters. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's quite quite solid here. You know, we've seen the last uh, eight snatches from Chinese weightlifters have all been makes, as we can include yeah. yesterday's. I ran into Quan uh, Wall yesterday after his. Did you really? After doping, you yeah, I, I took a picture with him. Okay. Yeah. Did you really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Is it a was hurry? he looking for you, I imagine? He was, yeah. He yeah. just waved me down in the crowd. Yeah. He said while I was out there with the 224, I was trying to find you. That's why he held on for so long. Yeah. Yeah. He was looking yeah. around, but it was dark. Yeah. Wang Zhu Yu here, 124. This would give her gold in the snatch. Oh, she's already she's clearly currently in the lead. This would only further that. Oh, did everything she yeah. could to try and make that, but <laughs> she kept sinking lower and lower and yeah. losing that position. It just wasn't going to work. She yeah. still has the gold snatch, though. She did make 122 first of all the lifters, so you know, She doesn't good. have the straightest back when she pulls or catches. Yeah, her you upper... You can see in the catch, it's just a little rounded. That upper back and shoulder 
you know, it's just not as flexible. She doesn't have quite the mobility oh. as her teammate does. Yeah, great well, depth, but as a lot of these athletes do. So that's the end of the snatch portion of this women's 81 kilo session. Two lifters with 122 kilos. The first to hit it, though, Wang Zhu Yu, the Olympic champion. She takes the gold at 122. Her teammate, Liang Zhao Mei, silver, 122 kilos. And then, seven kilos under, we have Nacy de Homes at 115. Uh, Matty Rogers in fourth, the runner up with 112 kilos. A couple of athletes at 110. We've got Aileen and. Peguero. A very, very strong snatch portion here. There's that 107 by Irigina from Moldova. That was her second attempt. Just missed out on a personal best at 109. And of course, Laura Amaro. There's that 108. That opening attempt of hers. She was unable to make another two lifts, unfortunately. There's Matty's 110 opener. Very strong. You know, we have seen her make this in the training hall, but we've also seen her miss 105 probably, you know, I think at least three times I've seen her miss 105. So she has been a, physically, she's very strong right now, but she has been a little bit shaky in the snatch. Probably yeah, just shaking know. off the cobweb, cobweb, so being in a new new country. Yeah, the, those training hall lifts are a good indicator, but... You know, as we've seen some athletes looking incredible in the training hall and then not performing, and then the opposite as well. Athletes really struggling. We saw that, we saw that actually yesterday. Uh, Olivia Reeves had been struggling in the snatch, struggling mm -hmm. kind of overall, and then had the absolute performance of her life, six for six. Huge personal bests. Macy Dahomas made that first one very strong right after just pulling it in the back room. So close to this 115. Yeah, really yeah, just it. a phenomenal attempt. It just, it landed, it was locked, and it just rolled, you know, a few few millimeters less back. It probably would have went. Mm -hmm. Olympic champion, Wang Zhu Yu. This is the gold medal lift at 122. She's made 126 twice in her career. She's made 125 a few times also. And of course, she wants to fight for being the number one uh, 81 in the world above this woman here, Liang Xiaomei. But realistically, are either of them dominant enough within this category to surpass athletes like uh, Jiang Huihua or uh, Li Wenwen or other Chinese lifters who sit at number one in their category. Just narrowly missing that 124 there. 